My name is Dennis Wallace. I'm a Rotarian in the Greater Westchester Sunrise Rotary. I think of this project as my coming of age as a Rotarian. It's an ultrasound project. We were able to uh, raise some money and purchase an ultrasound machine and donated it to the uh, medical center on the island of Antigua. Antigua is a relatively small island, uh, 105 square miles, a population of approximately 100,000. The adjacent island, Barbuda, has a population of approximately 2,000. They're dependent on, upon the medical services of Antigua as well. Antigua has one hospital, and that hospital had one ultrasound machine. And there are features of that ultrasound machine which uh, work sporadically, uh, obviously occasionally not at all. As a matter of fact, that uh, ultrasound machine gave up the ghost in February of this year. Our machine didn't get there until August of this year. They were extremely grateful. The Friends of Mount St. John Medical Center, they played an important role in this, in this process. They had raised money for three years to replace, they could see the handwriting on the wall with their existing ultrasound machine. Uh, they raised money for three years and had a, a, well, a little less than 50% of the cost. The ultimate cost of the machine wound up being a little over $65,000. This project was the largest matching grant project in our district. The Rotary Foundation gave us $22,000. This project never would have happened without it. Or, if it happened at all, it would have taken years. The other thing that I learned, there's such a thing as called the um, Paul Harris Society. This project allowed me to become a Paul Harris Fellow, and, and I thought I've only been a Rotarian for a little, uh, maybe a little under five years, a little over five years. And I heard of a Paul Harris Fellow, of course, and I thought that was it. Once you're a Paul Harris Fellow, you know, life is good. Well, uh, so I was at this meeting, and somebody mentioned the Paul Harris Society. And, and I'm thinking, Paul Harris Society, hmm, first time I heard that, I wonder what that's all about. Right on cue, as if somebody was reading my mind, they said, well, it's $1,000 a year. And I thought, hmm, $1,000 a year, that's going to require a little thought. Uh, like, like many of us, uh, I've been making my $100 a year contribution, so I'm used to that. To go to, from 100 to 1,000, I thought, well, that requires some thought. Once again, as if they're reading my mind, somebody said, $1,000 a year is only $85 a month. And I thought, $85 a month, wow, that's certainly doable. I can do that. $85 a month drills down to, of course, $21.25 a week. $21.25 a week, this, this is getting cheaper all the time. I mean, that, that's incredible. And then, of course, the $21.25 drills down to $3 a day. And I thought, three bucks a day, you can't get anything for three bucks a day. And you, you go out, try this, you go out and you buy $3 worth of stuff. And, and you look at it, and you've got to say, boy, this is a handful of nothing. In order for you to wind up with $3 worth of stuff, it, it's going to cost you 6 or $7. You go out and you spend six or seven dollars and you look at it and you say, now that's three dollars worth of stuff. Well, for three bucks a day, you know we Rotarians and the Rotary Foundation, we work miracles. About two months ago, I went to a business workshop, a seminar for people in, in my business. It was to learn about systems and putting systems in place so that I could run my business more efficiently, more effectively. And also, it should come as no surprise, uh, about motivation. How to discover our motivation, how to find motivation and get motivation. Well, the, the entire day was spent business, 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 business. Towards the tail end of the day, the moderator said, he, he called it your why how to get motivated, he called it your why. Why do you do what you do? Why do you get up in the morning? Why do you go to work? The exercise he gave us to develop our why was write your own obituary. Well, I promise you, I have never given one moment's thought to writing my own obituary. He said, write down 
what you want someone to say about you when you're lying in the box. The minute he said that, it was fully formed in my brain. I knew what my obituary is. He helped others when they couldn't help themselves. I was astonished that it was there. I hadn't given one moment's thought to my obituary, and yet there it was fully formed. That, that told me that it had to be percolating in my subconscious. The second astonishment was the entire day, six hours, had been spent thinking about business. My obituary had a little bit to do with business, but everything to do with Rotary. That's what caused me to become a member of the Paul Harris Society. I would like to extend an invitation to you to join with me as a member of the Paul Harris Society. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for allowing me to share my thoughts and feelings. <laughs>